Local abortion providers say they're already seeing Florida women traveling to the Commonwealth after Florida's six week abortion ban went into effect May 1st. 8 News reporter Jamal Williams is live in the Digital Center. Jamal, how much of an impact is this having across the state so far? Well, Deanna, I spoke to two representatives on opposite sides of this topic, and they both agree numbers have definitely gone up since the passing of this Florida ban. People don't want to see commercials that say, come to Virginia, you know, visit historic Williamsburg and get your abortion, too. Raw emotions from the Family Foundation president, Victoria Cobb, who says it's hard to watch women crossing state lines to seek abortion in Virginia. Last week, Florida became the latest state to enact a six-week abortion ban, a move Cobb says will help protect unborn babies. Our communities want to provide a support network for our friends and our neighbors when they find themselves in an unplanned pregnancy. According to data from the Virginia League of Planned Parenthood, out-of-state patients seeking abortions have increased by 10% in the Commonwealth since the Florida ban went into effect on May 1st. Communication specialist Ray Pickett says that number continues to go up little by little every day. The majority of patients are already mothers. Uh, folks are traveling long distances. Uh, we've heard stories of people driving all night long from Florida uh, with their children, right? And uh, they might have needed extra funding. Pickett also says she understands those who are upset about women who make the decision to have an abortion. And that choice is something everyone should have the right to do. Every individual is different, every pregnancy is different, and every person is going to make their own decisions. It is our job to make sure that when someone has made the decision to end their pregnancy, they're able to do so with love, with respect, and with the resources that anyone seeking health care would be able to get. Now, Virginia is one of several states that does not have a forced mandatory waiting period for abortions, and both women expect to see the numbers for people seeking out of care, care out of state to go up in the future. Live in the Digital Center, Jamal Williams, 8 News.